Good afternoon. I'm student meteorologist Justin Sautel with the Westcon weather team. We did have a chilly and cloudy start to the day, but looking out on the Midtown campus at noon hour, we did have some blue sky to break through, but we do have some high thin clouds filtering in, so we will have clouds increase throughout the day. And as of noon hour, we have a temperature of 42 degrees with a dew point of 29 and the winds are calm. Weather headlines, calm before the storm. That's right, today we have the cloudy skies, but we are dry, no wind, because starting tomorrow, we do bring in a nor'easter into the area, and I'll get into that in just a second. And do we dry out for next week? We'll find out in my five-day forecast. National Service map, we do have a high pressure that's in control of our area, giving us that cooler air. Looking off to the south in the northern Gulf of Mexico, we do have our low pressure area that will be moving north and east and will become our nor'easter for tomorrow. And then looking back up to the northern Great Lakes, we do have a low pressure with an associated cold front and that will push south and east and will come through our area early next week. Northeast visible, you can see in the Danbury area, we do have those high thin clouds starting to come on through. And as we look back off to the south and west, have thicker clouds and these will be pushing north and east coming into our area later this afternoon into this evening. National radar, Associated with those thicker clouds is a big batch of rain, and this rain will be pushing north and east, and we'll get into our area tonight, probably about after midnight. Northeast radar, though, nice and dry in the Danbury area, of course, but looking back off to the southwest of Pennsylvania, here is that leading edge of the precip of showers associated with that batch of rain, so that will be moving northeast and coming to our area later tonight. Now, by about midnight, the rain will be pushing in. You see Danbury starting to come into those greens, but as we push into Saturday morning, here comes the low pressure now south of New Jersey, pushing northeast. You can see bands of moderate to heavy rain coming into the Danbury area with a northeasterly wind. So tomorrow morning is not looking great at all. Make sure you have an umbrella with you. Then Saturday night, as low pressure continues to move north and east, be south of Long Island, we do still have some scattered showers around and some mist, but all the heavier rain now is moved off to the north and east. And then looking into Sunday morning, finally the low is north of our area. We are on the back side of the low. Some snow showers up in upper New York State, but Danbury, we will be drying out. The rain forecast from the National Wire Service does give Danbury over an inch of rain, but the higher amounts will be in southeastern Connecticut and through Long Island, where they'll get over an inch and a half of rain. And also looking at the wind gusts from the National Wire Service, of course, Long Island and the other Cape is going to get higher winds of winds up to almost 50 mile per hour gusts, but we will have winds that are 15 to 20 miles per hour with gusts that occasionally could come up to 36 miles per hour. So make sure you're aware of the winds. But coming back to tonight, we'll have a low of 49 degrees, winds southeast shifting to east 5 to 15 miles per hour, increasing clouds that rain towards midnight and the increasing winds. During the day on Saturday, we will have to deal with the nor'easter. Northeast winds 15 to 20, gusting to 30 miles per hour at time, moderate to heavy rain, with a high of 61 degrees. And going to that five day forecast, Sunday, we will be mostly cloudy skies as the storm leaves with a chance of a shower in the afternoon with a high of 54 degrees. And start the work week on Monday, we do remain mostly cloudy with maybe an early shower as the next front pushes on through with a high of 53 degrees. But we finally do clear things out on Tuesday with a high of 51 degrees, mostly sunny skies. And we get to do it again on Wednesday for Halloween, mostly sunny skies. High of 52, but notice we are colder to start Wednesday morning with a low of 35 degrees. Meet the team of social media, WCSU Meteorology. I'm student meteorologist Justin Diasaltel. Thank you for watching.